Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video tutorial we are going to learn about connecting to Microsoft SQL Server in C# -sharp. window forms. So, I have created this uh, window form and uh, I have nothing on it. Now I'll go to this toolbox and uh, I'll drag in uh, a button on this uh, window form. And now I'll expand this button a bit and now I'll change the text of this button to connect to SQL server and now as the text changes now I'll double click on this to create a click event so now our click event is created so now here we will write some code uh, which will connect uh, our form to the database in SQL Server. So I have opened this uh, SQL Server Management Studio. So if I go to this, click on this. So this is our server name. So we need this. Uh, so I'll copy this. Control C this. Now if you have installed uh, Microsoft SQL Server and Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio and you double click on Management Studio and open it so you it will uh, show you your server name here so you can copy this control C this and now I'll again go to Visual Studio and now I'll uh, you create string con uh, string equals and now I'll put uh, double quotes and I'll put semicolon here now here I will use data source equals and now I'll paste our server name and now I'll put semicolon here then we will use initial catalog which is our database so if I go to the server and uh, connect to this uh, server and now if I expand this databases tab now you can see this test DB here and inside this tabs, test DB we have uh, tables if I expand them so we have this person table and this student table so if I select rows from this uh, person table so we will be reading all this record uh, from this person table id name and address so i'll uh, come again to visual studio and uh, i'll use here initial catalog uh, equals test db db and then I'll put semicolon and then we have uh, our integrated security so I'll use integrated security equals true so if you have a username and password uh, you have applied here if I close it down and uh, if I connect the database engine and if you have a username and uh, a password here this will server authentication open as we have in window authentication if I make this SQL server authentication then it takes a login name and a password here so if you have a login name and a password so then you use integrated security false and use that password and uh, login name now our uh, connection string is created so now we will create uh, our connection so is cable connection con equals new is cable connection and I'll 
put semicolon here. Now this is showing error. So if I click here, now I'll uh, start using this uh, uh, system dot data dot is cable client, and now I'll click enter, and now I'll pass in our connection string here. Con string. So I'll open this connection con dot open. I'll put semicolon here. So now I'll uh, create our query so string query equals um, select static from person, which is our table name. So we will uh, read all the records if I come here and if I show you this. So this is this person. Person is our table name. So I'll come again here. Now we have uh, created our query. So now I'll create a SQL command. So SQL command cmd equals new SQL command. And here I'll pass in query and then con so now we have passed uh, our query and command so now I'll create a scale data reader this one reader equals uh, cmd dot execute reader and I'll put semicolon here now as we have created our reader now we will create uh, uh, we will read uh, every records a uh, record from this reader so this is uh, showing an error because this is end execute reader so I have to make it execute reader now it is good now we have to read all the records where we will use while loop while uh, reader dot read and now I'll put uh, parentheses and now curly braces and here we will get all the values from our reader now if I mm, go here to the table so we have three values ID name and address so I'll go here and we will use uh, string output equals um, out uh, output plus reader I'll use equals here equals um, reader dot get value zero dash here I need plus sign plus and uh, here I need a uh, plus sign and then double quotes inside double quotes I will use a dash plus reader dot git value and here I will pass in one and then plus double quotes and inside double quotes dash and then plus uh, reader dot get value and I will pass in two and now I will put semicolon here so now why I pass one uh, zero one two because we have only three columns zero this ID becomes zero name become one and two become and this address become two so now we will show this output in our uh, message box so message box dot show and here I will pass in uh, output and all output and I'll put semicolon here 
now we are good to go let's run the application and let's see if it is working so if i run this so now the application is running so if i click on this connect to xcable server so it has read the first record if i click ok second record third record and we have only three records uh, here one two three so uh, we have connected successfully to SQL Server and uh, fetch data from SQL Server and showed in a message box. Uh, so I think that's all for today. I hope you liked the video. If you like the video, please like, subscribe, and comment. Thank you.